Welcome to this overview of the BRICS integration with Zero Accounting software. In this video, I'm going to run through how these two tools work together to help your business. So, Zero is an online accounting platform for keeping on top of your business finances and running many of the day-to-day -day operational tasks. You need to keep your business running smoothly. BRICS, on the other hand, is a strategic decision-making tool focused on modeling the future of your business, ensuring you're making the right decisions for the months and years to come. The combination of the two will give you powerful financial forecasting and scenario testing capabilities that are supported by up-to-date figures that have been recorded in your Zero accounts. There are two main purposes for this integration. Firstly, to speed up starting a new BRICS plan from scratch using your Zero company data. Secondly, to feed your Zero actual figures into BRICS to compare against the forecast you make. This enables you to track your progress against your goals and learn from the differences between what you forecast you do and how you're actually performing. Once set up, you can grab the latest figures from Zero at the click of a button. Normally, a standalone BRICS plan begins with a generic template that you then customize to fit your particular business, adding and grouping together all the types of income sources you have, the people you employ, uh, the equipment you own and plan to buy, the costs you incur over time, etc. Now, here is a plan created after connecting to a zero company. In this case, much of that customization has already been done for me. You can see the green income components here have been created and named off of my revenue accounts in Zero. This happens automatically when you create a new plan and connect to your Zero company. Your forecast is also populated with some starting figures. These are based on your historical records in Zero and can be adjusted up or down based on your expectations of the future. This is just a starting point though, and you have the flexibility and control to go in and adjust these figures further in as much detail as you'd like after the plan is first set up. Once you've modeled the future and built a forecast for the periods ahead, you then need to follow this up as the real data comes in. Measuring your actuals against the forecast you agreed upon helps you track your progress on this journey. If reality differs from your expectations, you may need to revisit earlier decisions and strategies that were based on this forecast to check they're still valid. The combination of BRICS and Zero is designed to make this process easy. Your latest Zero figures can be pulled in on demand, automatically matching against your forecast over the periods of your plan and showing any variance between the two. You'll always be able to grab your latest cash position from Zero to see how that measures up with your forecast. But it's not just about cash. You can analyse the variance across your entire business. Figures will be pulled in and matched across all three primary financial reports, the cash flow, profit and loss, and balance sheet statements. You can drill into these to see where the differences are at an account level too, helping you quickly analyze what's going on. So that's a really quick overview of what the integration with Zero is all about. In the next video, I'll run through the steps you take to connect to your Zero company and build a new BRICS plan from your company data and accounts. Music